Alice Guy Blaché was the pioneer female in film, the first of her time. Not only was she the first woman to direct and write for film, she also made major contributions in film technology and experimentation. Guy was born July 1st, 1873, and grew up the youngest of five with two French parents. Her father owned a bookstore and lived in Chile. When her older siblings had moved away and Guy was in school, her oldest brother and father passed away and his bookstore went bankrupt. She had to leave school to study typing and stenography in order to get a job to support herself and her widowed mother. This led her to a job with Leon Garmont, who would continue on to own his own film company, asking Guy to follow and be his secretary. It was from here that she began her climb to the top. Alice Key had ideas of film moving away from their documentary styles, the actualities, into ones with a fictional plot. She asked for Gaumont's permission to direct and write her own film, and it was granted. Her first film, and the world's first narrative film, was called La Fille en Chou, The Cabbage Fairy. She continued to direct over 1,000 films, 350 of which survived, and 22 of which were feature length. Some of her other more famous films included A House Divided and Matrimony's Speed Limit. She often appeared in her own films. In 1953, she was awarded the Legion of Honor, the highest non-military award in France. She also advanced films in terms of the use of special effects, popularizing features like double exposure, masking techniques, and running a film backward. Along with these, she made use of the chronophone system to pair audio recordings with her visual films. Until recently, Alice Guy had not been deservedly recognized for her major contributions to film. Her husband, Herbert Blaché, married her and they together formed the Solax Company. Alice was the first woman to ever run her own studio. There are photos of her standing in front of a sign she posted that read, Be Natural. She was down to earth, intelligent, and a kind woman who was good at what she did. When she and her husband divorced, their partnership ended, she moved back to France and never made another film. She wrote her own autobiography, taught about film, but ceased to touch a camera again and died in her home country. Her remarkable rise to fame and success ended with some degree of tragedy, but it is important now that her pivotal contributions to film and directing are fully recognized.